Hey everyone, architect Michael Huber. Hope everyone is well and safe. Today I wanted to uh, look at that modern farmhouse and show you the next sort of iterative step um, in the process. Uh, so maybe not big jumps in the uh, design process as I've shown before, but uh, just kind of the next step. So if you go back, you'll see the video where we develop three basic uh, plan layouts and looked at some forms, etc. And they liked all three, but wanted to see some uh, changes within each of the floor plans to help them determine uh, a direction or weed one out. Um, and then I brought the forms up a little bit more detailed with some windows, etc. So uh, let's let's take a look. Uh, if you remember, so here is the floor plan, the original floor plan scheme I came up with, study A, this L-shaped uh, piece, which they did like, um, but they didn't really like the stair uh, being part of the main living space. They didn't like coming in and having the dining right here. Uh, if you remember on the last video, they did like the idea of moving their daughter's bedroom on an upper level, uh, kind of above their room, to help shrink the form but provide some separation. So again, this is uh, the original plan. If we flip to the modified plan, you can see now uh, we come in, we've got uh, this little vestibule, we've moved the dining um, uh, back here, put the uh, kitchen and the sink uh, more towards uh, the views out move the stair into, I'll call it the bedroom building. Um, and they really liked, they really liked, you know, those changes, you know, the footprint did shrink. Um, it seemed to work and flow better for them. And they did like the idea of having a banquette, uh, dine, dining area. And they're not as concerned about the views from the dining as that's more of an internal conversation, as I always say. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the form direction on that one. All right, so here you can see I've made it a little bit more real uh, with some windows, put some siding on there, added uh, my usual kind of gray white to kind of separate uh, and show potential um, areas of accent. I mean, here we're trying to, from the garage to the main bedroom bath area bump uh, bring your eyes into that entry space so that's why the, the colors are kind of where they are at uh, and then trying to modernize a little bit the aesthetic with some flat roof forms um, as well so uh, let's spin around the back here um, the patio she loved this curved patio element, um, sort of softening that edge, adding a dormer out there. And this is where <laughs> I, I, I showed them, which of course they freaked out, uh, but uh, I, I, I always say that it's really getting, let's get the plan, you know, organized uh, the way you want it. And the exterior form can be almost anything uh, can go in any direction and you know, there's some back and forth obviously So I did a little exercise that I will use to show, you know future clients here But just to make the point if we look so here is that exterior massing we just looked at for study a but then Here is also an exterior massing for that same general plan of study a so you can see uh, this is not at all what they wanted, which I knew um, and didn't charge them for this, but just to show people that, you know, the form can really take on any sort of aesthetic uh, or go any direction. Um, it's just you want uh, to, to, to get the plan first. <laughs> okay, so anyway, all right. So if we look at um, the main level plan of study B, this is that original plan I had done last time, um, which they didn't really like coming straight into the living room, wanted a little vestibule, which I, I agree. Otherwise, everything else, they, they pretty much 
liked on this one. Again, um, they thought maybe flipping the dining would uh, be better. So that's more or less what we did here. Created a little vestibule at the covered porch area, uh, the dining, the kitchen, uh, living. Uh, so anyway, that they really like that plan. If we look at uh, a form on that one, again, you can see we're still kind of keeping with the more uh, farmhouse traditional form aesthetic, but trying to add maybe some different materials to break, break it up. Um, here we've got a metal roof, adding some stone. Uh, if you remember, we've got the office separated from the main house. Um, and then the patio access from the, the two link pieces. All right, so let's look at let's look at plan C. All right, so here we, we are at at uh, study C. If you remember, this we call kind of the W plan. Again, they really like this, um, but didn't like the entry coming right into you know a wall or display area. They wanted to to kind of have more of a connection to the main living space. And um, again, moving one of the bedrooms on the upper level. So we looked at pulling the stair out uh, to create more of a formal entry. So this is what we ended up with um, as a revision where this all stayed pretty much the same. Again, allowing us to get more of 180 degree views in the plan. Move the second bedroom upstairs, pulled the stair uh, out of the main building again to try to open open this up a little bit and even though we did that um, it still to them felt there's too much of a separation between the entry and the living which I I get uh, I actually did an interior model to try to show you know how open it might feel or close it might feel all right let me break in here I forgot to show you uh, the massing, the form of uh, study C here. So um, here is that W um, form where we're doing some shed dormers, some metal roof accents, um, again, some stone, the patio out in this area here, um, which I thought looked, looked pretty good. So uh, anyway, you can see there's are kind of baby steps. We're starting to fill in a little bit more of the detail, just doing some refinements again to help them make a decision to eliminate a plan or two or a direction that they like to develop. Um, and the drum roll uh, that did help because we were able to then focus on a direction, which is this one, uh, plan study B. They liked mostly everything about um, the plan configuration as it is. Love that his office is in a located in a separate building. Like that all the utilities were part of the garage building and that this exterior patio space uh, kind of was enclosed in a way and still nice connections from his uh, hangout area, from the main living space, etc. So, um, we're further along, of course, than, than I'm showing here, but I will, we'll jump ahead in the next video to show you, uh, more or less the final plan, the final aesthetic as we are now in construction drawings actually here. Um, and they want that barn or outbuilding. So we've got to, uh, got to design on that, um, and need to get rolling on construction drawings on that. So. Uh, anyway, uh, and then hopefully in the next video, I'll give you a quick update on that modern house as well. So as usual, uh, appreciate you watching the videos and uh, we'll talk soon.